Hello and welcome. My name is Bishop Fadl and I'd like to welcome you to this video about how we can increase our subscribers. If you're looking to increase your subscriber base on YouTube, you don't need a long talk about the value of subscribers. Maybe you're starting new and you know if you hit that milestone of a thousand subscribers along with a couple other conditions, such as 4,000 hours of watched videos, you can monetize on that. You can have ads and so on. And of course, the more subscribers you have, the more opportunities of higher income that you have. So we're just going to jump in straight into 18 strategies that have been tested, that have been proven to increase subscriber base, and which is exactly what we need. So let's join and let's get started. All right. So the first tip is on your YouTube channel, when you put the description for a video, you could actually add a link. And a lot of people don't know that. That link is basically you get your channel page the link for your channel page, and then add to it, question mark, sub underscore confirmation is equal to one. If you put that link, whenever somebody clicks on it, wherever it is, through an email, through a WhatsApp group, or any any other platform, basically, when somebody clicks on that link, it asks them if they want to subscribe. And if they click subscribe, there you go. You just made it easy for them to subscribe. Number two is add a YouTube subscribe button to all of your videos. And that's very easy because you can basically go to your uh, your channel, the customization side of it, and then just go to the video mark and make sure you have that little emblem or that little watermark. Uh, you could put the word subscribe in it, or you could put an image of your business or channel, whatever the topic is about, makes it easy for people to click. And you can choose also when you want people to click on it. It could be at the end of the video, it could be throughout the video or at certain times at the video, but makes it easy and faster for them to click. Number three, ask your viewers to subscribe. Just easily as we're doing right now, I'm gonna ask you guys to please support what we're doing and subscribe. However, remember ROI, return on investment, which means if you were to subscribe, what are you going to get out of it? So you always want to throw a pitch out there. You want to basically say, in my case, if you were to subscribe, we're always going to share with you newer ways that's going to help you as a YouTuber, whether it's ways to going to the ads or adding subscribers or building your page or just different things and how to look at the analytics and how analytics can help you build your business. So always when you ask to subscribe at the beginning of the end of the videos, make sure you add return an investment, a statement that says, here's the value because people want to get that notification if they're getting something valuable from your channel. Number four, do a YouTube collab to reach new viewers. If you have a friend, you have someone that you know, someone that works around what you do, reach out to them, even if you don't know them. And if you know them, even better. Collaborate with people that are working on the same field. Usually people in your channel are going to reach out and say, oh, that's a great person. And they want to add subscribers to them. But also people on their channel are more than likely to say after an interview or a meeting or some collaboration with them would like to add you or subscribe to your page. So that's another easy way to do it. Number five. Optimize your video without getting into a lot of details on the algorithms of how YouTube, boom, puts your, your, your videos out there and helps support you. There's a couple of things. So it's title, thumbnails, description, keywords, and tags. You always want to make sure you optimize them. For the title, put a catchy title, but truthful and transparent. Thumbnails, you want to put an image that makes sense. You have two images of two videos that I have right now. The lower one, I'm just sitting there. The upper one, you can see some money. You can see a description. More than likely, that's a thumbnail where people are going to press through it. And that's what we want to see. Of course, description, keywords, make sure you put the right thing. In the case of tags, if people uh, spell a word more than a different way, make sure you have the different spellings in your text to optimize your video. Number six, end your video with a teaser. People love that cliffhanger. If you want people to subscribe and get notifications, at the end of the video, say, well, the next video we're going to talk about, boom, and say something that's exciting to that group people in your channel. So in this case, if you're getting subscribers, more likely what you're going to need to talk about in the future is going to be ads. So we're going to say in the next episode, we're going to talk about ads. Hopefully, a lot of you are going to subscribe to get notifications and join us through the journey of increasing our subscription, YouTube, ads, as well as income. Number seven, interact with your audience and build a community. A lot of times people have amazing content. They put it out on YouTube, but they don't build a loyal subscription. You might have some subscribers, but not loyal. What you want is that loyal base, people that are always there. So what you want to do is interact with them. When they put a comment, reach out and you know reply back to their comment. Show them you care about their feedback. An additional thing is in your YouTube channel, you have a community tab. Make sure to put polls out there. Ask people for their opinions, what, like to, what they'd like to hear about in the future, what they think about this subject. You could put this versus this. People love that kind of stuff. Build a community and they're coming back and they're going to be more loyal. More subscriptions. Number eight, create videos that deliver on their promise. One of the biggest things that uh, YouTube looks at is 
kind of kind of that retention. If a video, in this case, you have a video of mine that's 26 minutes and 31 seconds. Are people going to watch the first 30 seconds and drop? Or are they going to watch all 26 or more than half of it? So what you want to do is when you promise something, you want to deliver on it. If I say I have 15 tips of being a successful YouTuber and you start watching, if the first one is good, you're going to keep watching. If the second one is good, you're going to keep watching. If the third one is good, even if you have to run, you're going to hit pause, you're going to subscribe, and you're going to continue watching after that. However, the first one is about how to cook, and you're like, well, this is YouTube. This is not about cooking. You're going to drop, and I'm not going to have that retention that I need. So it's very important to name, in most cases, even name your video before you start creating it so that it really matches in that sense. Number nine, there's four kind of video formats that people normally enjoy looking at or watching. So you might want to pick one of those four and kind of master it, since those are like the top four. The first one is reaction videos, where you have something playing a game, uh, just something that's out there, and you're kind of reacting to it. And you'll be surprised how people like that format. Second thing is how-to videos. A lot of times when people go to YouTube, it's for how-to. I've never changed the oil in my car, so if I need to change the oil in my car, I'm going to say on YouTube how to change oil, you know, for such and such a car, make a model of my car. So how-tos are valuable, whether it's about technology, whether it's about cooking, whether it's about driving, about whatever, how-to videos, people like those. Versus videos, people like those comparisons. Who's the, you know, greatest player of all times? Is it LeBron or is it Michael Jordan or Kareem Abdul-Jabbar or Michael Jordan? Uh you know, people like that comparison, whether it's about the team, about the football, about the Super Bowl, about, you know, cars, is this better or that better? You'll get a lot of following. And when people are watching it, that's usually subscribers. When you put topics that are kind of controversial, you're going to get a lot of subscribers. Number four is what we call listicles or listings. Uh, you know, like in this case, we have 18 steps or 18 strategies to kind of build your customer base, you know, your subscriber base on YouTube, 15 key tips of being a successful YouTuber. Those are the kind of things that people like generally in terms of formats. You have a format that people like, you're going to have more subscribers. Now we go to number 10. Never stop posting new videos. Part of the algorithm that YouTube has is consistency. It follows that consistency. They want people that are putting consistent material out there. Maybe you're doing it on a daily basis, so make sure that every day you have something out there. Maybe it's on a weekly basis. Every week you have something out there. Maybe it's on a monthly basis. Every month you're putting something out there, but no interruptions. If you're doing it daily and then you disappear for a month, more than likely other people are going to be promoted before you are. So you want to always keep that consistency, even if it's weekly or whatever, but at least you're consistent so that people know to expect you. They want to get notifications when you're in and your videos are there. So what are they going to do? They're going to subscribe. And that's what we need is subscribers. Number 11. Identify which videos attract the most subscribers. So a lot of times in our mind, we think that people like this subject. So we might focus in an area that we think people like it. But what you want to do is always go back kind of in your YouTube studio. There's other tools out there that you could use to kind of review subscribers. What are my subscribers watching the most? What are my viewers, my unique viewers watching the most? And then that way you can kind of reevaluate your strategy and see what areas you need to focus on a little bit more. Because if you're putting material that people like on a regular basis, that's equal to more subscribers in most cases. Number 12, create effective channel branding. If I see that Nike sign, I know that this, this location is for sport gear. They have the best. If I see that big M and I'm on the highway, it means McDonald's, burgers, any kind of burger that I want. So when I go to your page, and sometimes you go to a page on YouTube, and what do you see? You see, uh, you know, there's there's a meditation thing, and then there's an algebra thing, and then there's a, a, a soccer thing, and there's a football thing, and you have no idea what what does this channel stand for so that I subscribe to it. But you want to be something unique. You want to be something that when people go to your channel, they're like, mm hmm, this is the best channel or one of the best channels regarding this subject. So brand it in a way that people know it. Have your video spotlights. So when people log in, whether it's subscribing or not, they see that video that's going to attract their attention. Number 13. Think in terms of playlist. A lot of times we have videos and people go through searching through the videos and they get lost. Uh, so you don't want that happening. You don't want people who are interested in basketball and you have a couple of basketball videos to look at basketball and then meditation, yoga and, and something else before they get to the next video. So you can organize it as a playlist. It makes it much simpler. And as people feel that you're going in and filling video after video, they're going to do it. I have another channel that's dedicated to IT, for example, and I teach Python, I teach Java, I teach SQL. So 
you know, people that are watching SQL, they don't want to have a couple of videos of Python in the middle. And people that are watching Python, when they have a playlist and they see number six, number seven, number eight, now they're waiting for number nine and number 10. So they would more likely subscribe to get the next one. Number 14, showcase content strategically on your channel page. So the channel page is customizable. Go into the studio, click on customization, go into the layout, and you can move things around and add different sections in a way that you kind of promote and put what is of most value to the people, whether it's images, whether it's videos, order it in the way that's really going to be attractive, uh, you know, to, 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 to your audience so that they are more likely to subscribe and continue with it. Number 15, run a contest. Uh, contest is very, very valuable uh, in the sense that, again, we want more subscribers. We want loyal subscribers people that are going to be, you know, subscribing to us and also watching videos on a regular basis. So when you run a contest, for example, right now, if I put a contest, uh, who in the in the next year is, or in the next month is going to go from zero to 10,000 uh, subscribers is going to win $1,000 or get an iPhone or an iPad. More than likely, now I'm building that bond because you guys are going to feel that I'm invested in you succeeding and you guys are going to come back and ask questions and have comments and feedback. So we're building a relationship. It becomes a community. So running a contest is very valuable. It gets you those dedicated, loyal subscribers and a lot of them, hopefully. Number 16 is entice audience from other social media channels. You know, some people might have a channel for two, three years and only 20 followers, but we forget that on WhatsApp, I may be in 10 groups and each one has 200 members. I might be on Facebook where I have five, 600 friends. I could be on Instagram where I have, well, go ahead, leverage that. Use that to your advantage and start sharing your YouTube channel on all the different social media that you have. Share it with your friends. If there's something that they like, have them share it in their social media as well. And before you know it, a percentage of those people are more than likely to click sub subscribe, especially when you put that subscribe link, they're more than likely to click on it and you get more subscribers on subjects that they like as well. Number 17 is top countries by users. Why is that important? It's important because a lot of times we think of the box that we're in. Suppose I have a cooking channel. And again, this is very hypothetical, but I just want to simplify the concept. I'm in the US and you can see there's 247 active users, 247 million active users in the US. So if I was to do a cooking channel, I'm probably going to have, hypothetically speaking, a maximum of 247 US active users watching my channel. That's, hypothetically speaking, my maximum. However, if I have a friend from India and invite that friend and we talk about how they cook Indian food, chapati and biryani and, you know, chicken masala and so on, and speak a little bit of Indi and that, you know, conversation and I'm, I'm learning a couple of words and how to cook, India has 467 million users, almost twice as much as the US. I just open, I'm not going to say a can of worms, I open a very good can whatever that can is going to be and that's exactly what we want is you want more users so don't only think of the box that you're in the city that you're in or the friends that you have think that you're on youtube you're in a global you know with billions of followers out there <clears throat> so you want to make sure that you know whatever material you're putting out there allows more people to be interested and allow for a lot more subscribers from diverse backgrounds finally number 18 and probably this is the most important one is you want to keep track of what YouTube keeps track of. YouTube concerns about how many impressions are out there and what is the click through rate? What's the CTR? You know, 6,000 people or 6 million people or 100 people saw this. So they let, saw that little thumbnail. That's the impression. They saw it on the side of YouTube. But how many people actually clicked on it? It's 1%. If it's 2%, I'm doing terrible. If it's 10% or higher, okay, now we're talking. Now YouTube is going to keep promoting that video over and over. So it's very important for me to see kind of the impressions, which the higher the impression, it means I'm putting a very good title, my video is optimized. And then the CTR, the impressions click-through rate, basically says that here's the number of people or percentage of people that are seeing it, looking for that subject that are actually clicking through it. So this is one of the very important metrics uh, that YouTube uses. Another one is kind of the length engagement. How long are they watching that video? If I have a 10 minute video, are they watching the first 30 seconds, more, less? And of course, the longer the time that people are engaged in watching that video of yours, the better off you are. So again, like I said, 18 matrix or 18 quick steps for you to kind of increase your viewership, more importantly, your subscribership.
I hope that you find it beneficial. I hope that you subscribe to our channel so as we get more information, you're getting notifications, and hopefully you find it beneficial in your journey of building it. A lot of people have done it in less than a year. Why not you? So the challenge is on. Let's go ahead and see if you can get 100,000 subscribers in less than one year. Thanks. Appreciate it.